What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Glad you guys are here, man. Uh, right now, I am in the Fort Benjamin Harrison area. Um, military base back in the day that was active right now. Uh, it's home to a bunch of reservists, veterans. So, Today we're going to be talking about glycine, which is a military-inspired timepiece. Uh, has great history, and um, they have a number of watches. They even just had one just announced, a little dive watch. We are proud to unveil the Sea Kraken. This is more than just a watch. It's a tribute to maritime heritage, blending classic design with modern precision. The Sea Kraken features a 39mm diameter stainless steel case, providing a perfect balance of durability and sophistication. Uh, and I would love to know what you guys think about the history of uh, glycine. Is this something that you may want to add to your collection? Uh, is it worth your time? We'll see. I actually have two, but we're going to primarily focus on one particular, the newest one to the collection, man. So let's get this camera flipped around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this right here is the purest, and this one is uh, the chief, but we're going to focus more on this one right here, which uh, first, it, this does come in a multitude of colors as far as the dial, and that, that whole dial is uh, luminous, super luminova, but before we get into that, man, let's, let's look at what we have here. Now, if you're not familiar with this brand, Glycine is still being made in Switzerland. This entire watch was completed in Switzerland, tested and everything else. So, uh, and yes, Invicta does own uh, Glycine. I believe they bought it in 2016. But this particular watch actually mimics the original style. So what you have, you have two crowns. This one is a screw down crown. This whole case is 42 millimeter, right? But this is the, the beauty of this watch. So What's powering this watch is basically it could be one of two movements. It could be in uh, uh, the Salita 330 or the Etta 2893-2, um, I believe, which gives you the GMT function. So you can tell time up to like three different zones. Now, I'm going to show you the difference in between these besides the size, 42 millimeters, and it's like 12 millimeters tall. You do have this NATO style strap which is, man, it's solid, man. It's very, very stiff, but it's comfortable on the wrist. I've uh, had this on. I wore it a bit. This one is a little different, and I'll show you the difference here in a second. Let's pull this up. You have a case back that is an exhibition case back, so you can see the signed crown. The original glycine comes like this. Now, I actually uh, seen the original the 1956 version of this right here, which if you look at both of these watches, you have the 24 hour scale represented on this watch, but this one is going to run a little different. Both of these watches have the same movement in it. So look, check this out. You see how you have your regular hands, minute and hours, but then you have the G GMT hand. So this crown, you release it, you can actually turn this bezel, which is actually made out of um, brass, according to the website. Now, the loom on both, like this is not a full loom. And the loom on this one, it, uh, it's okay. And it's just okay. This one is phenomenal, as you can see here. That loom's crazy, right? I uh, haven't done a test on it to see how long it lasts. But here's the stark difference between the two. This is a 40, this chief. 40 millimeters, 42 millimeter. This one is a lot thinner, but not by that much, but it's still thinner. This one comes in at like 11 millimeters. Uh, both house the same movement. This one is a push-pull crown, this one. This one, screw-down crown, both. The only screw-down function is this one. This one, however, does not have that GMT hand, but you can still tell different times. You just unscrew that and you make your adjustments as usual to that one so you can tell in different time zones so what what is it about this watch that i had to get it 
Well, the, the original, I was impressed with it. First 24-hour dial that was ever uh, available for anybody. This was used by military personnel back in the day. This particular watch was actually a, a collaboration between a British soldier, a commander, uh, came up with the idea of this watch, and uh, it was sold back in 1956. And has been, what like this has been the original design since then. It hasn't strayed away too much from its origin so though this isn't talked about in my opinion it's not talked about as much and it's not utilized because it has that utility look to it utilitarian look uh it's not a fashionable watch but oh the wind that wind's pushing i don't travel as often so be it uh the edda movement or the salida this is more of a collar so you can't like you can only put the gmt in one position it's not, it's not like a traveler's GMT. It acts just like a collar, which I thought was so surprising. I was like, okay. And, of course, you can screw it back down. But that was, I was surprised by that one. A little disappointed. I was like, oh, man, you know what? I, I want to be able to, you know, set it because I've seen. I Again, I don't have a use for a GMT because I don't travel as much. But I, I just wanted that function or, like, having that option of having a tra traveler style. But. They did not set it up for that. And it is it's, it's funny how like they, they have the same movements in there. Uh, and they didn't get put it on the 24-hour scale on this one. They just put it on the regular, which, I mean, it's cool. Now, I don't care which one you go with. Um, I will say that uh, they are solid watches. And if you want that Swiss-made designation, something that is completely Swiss-made, uh, I would definitely uh, recommend either one of these watches uh, for the uh, nostalgia of this one right here, anybody that has somebody to serve as a pilot, helicopter pilot or anything like that, just know that these were issued uh, to our soldiers back in Vietnam. And uh, that's one thing I love about this. It's not talked about as much. It's not highlighted and stuff. And I know veterans that wore these watches uh, during combat missions. Um, now, where do you buy these at, right? You can purchase these, uh, like, I personally wouldn't recommend that you go over to Glycine's website because they're more money, all right? Just to save you a buck, um, they do have them on Shop HQ. However, however, if you can see this right here, I just want to show you this. You shop on, 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 on uh, Shop HQ, and when I got down to this part right here, I was like, wait a minute, what it, why is Ashford's a part of that? I'm not calling to reference or, like, ask the question. I don't care enough. Uh, so I'm just going to refer you over to Ashford's because there's always a sale going on over there. Uh, and you can get these watches for under $500. Considering that GMTs, depending on what you, you know, like the NS34, uh, those go depending on the company. If it's Aragon, I've seen them as low as $88. If it's other companies, I've seen them as much as $900 for an NH34. And I'm like, eh. um, but I personally uh, will tell you that if you want to go and grab this, go over to Ashford's, get the, and you can you can spring for uh, rush shipping. They are pretty solid. I haven't had a problem out of Ashford's. I've purchased uh, four watches from them um, so far. Haven't had a problem. Customer service is great. And they do update and let you know when your stuff ships and stuff like that. And if there's any problems, you know, they'll let you know. Uh, but as far as the warranty, two-year warranty on the, these watches, they do not adopt the uh, Invicta warranty. So Invicta is uh, boasting a five-year warranty on their watches. But, like, you do have to. And I'm just going to tell you this. When you're shopping, please read in the fine print uh, what is that warranty uh, cover. Tell me what you think. Let me know. Put it down in the, in the description box. Uh, overall, I think it's a nice watch to have in your collection. You pick out what colorways that you want. I left a link down to some other watches for you that uh, you may want to uh, utilize. But other than that, man, we out of here, man. It's time for me to walk, man. So, uh, yeah. i catch y'all in the next one, man. Y'all be blessed.